Welcome After Buzz. My name is Chelsea Overrocker, and here we are at Day of Days with James Reynolds. Yes, ma'am. And Wally Kurz. Hello. Hello. Thank you guys for joining me today. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. you. Of course. James, I want to start off with you. Right. I loved it back in the day with you, with Abe and Lexi. Really good storylines. And one of the most moving storylines was when Lexi passed away when you were in the park yeah. and you were holding her and she just went. How was that scene? How difficult was it yeah. doing that? That was extraordinarily difficult. You know, not only was uh, Lexi passing away, uh, Renee was leaving the show. Yeah. And, uh, you know, over that 20 years, I think that we had been together, uh, we, we had become friends as well. And uh, it, it was, it, you know, it's, it's fascinating when you have this kind of dual reality going on. You've got the reality of the character losing someone and the reality of you losing someone. Yes. And it's, it's, uh, it's, you, you've got to play that. It helps you as an actor. Uh, but it's also very, it was very, very difficult to do. And uh, what people don't know is that Renee actually played uh, Abe's love interest about six years before. She was a different character. Yes. She yes. was Nikki Wade, his secretary. Was that yeah. hard to go from that? From well, no, because six years had come in between, yeah. and and uh, you know it was a whole different character. It was a whole she was this naive young girl that kind of had this thing for this cop, <laughs> <laughs> little, thing. <laughs> little thing for him. And uh, so when she came on as Lexi, she was the third Lexi, I think, and I'd driven everybody else away, and she was uh, well enough. <laughs> she stayed. She was able to stay. She said, "I can make it. I can tough this out." Uh, I know. I. I, I uh, that that was extraordinary, wonderful as an actor to play. Very difficult as a person to play. Um, I mm -hmm. Are you hoping that Abe gets a new love interest soon? Absolutely. You doing anything? Uh, <laughs> who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Am I busy? <laughs> you know, you don't have to worry about age services or anything. No, no, it's tele no, it's television. No, it's still television. We can make things happen. We can make it work. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. No. Uh, no. That's that's always. That's currency of soap operas, as Wally knows. That's the currency of the yeah, yes. love stories. That's yes. that's the currency of soap opera. So, yeah, I mean, you know, keep watching. The love keep story he's telling now is, is with his daughter. Yeah. Yes. And it's a, and it's a great love story. Exactly. You know. It's really good. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, but yeah. the whole wedding scene between Eli and Lonnie, and you know, being in that moment, was that how that all play out yeah. for you? Yeah. Well, you know, for one thing. I love Sal. She is just, uh, she's just so fantastic. And you have met her, and she's just, uh, she's sunshine. I mean, she is just something really special. And uh, Lamone has come on and grabbed hold of that that role, and has made it his own. Yeah. You know, really in a kind of a difficult uh, circumstance, a difficult role to kind of grab hold. You know, it's always, it's not as easy to be that male lead uh as we can both tell you uh you know you've got to really maintain something get to something and maintain and hold on to it mm -hmm. and he's done a great job of that um but i i love it uh, whenever i get a script and i see those names it's special and, and of course this once again mary in real life a father a father giving away his daughter yeah it's pretty yeah Pretty, uh, pretty yeah. special. Yeah, absolutely. And then, really quickly, how's everything going with the theater company? Theater's great. Fremont Center Theater. We've owned the theater now for over 20 years. We have a theater that a company that leases from us called Young Stars Theater that specializes in theater for young people, yes. uh, basically 16 and under. They do great jobs. You see these kids get out on stage and they sing and they dance and they they have summer camps and people bring their kids who have never done anything and they put on a show at the end of a week. Yes. It is extraordinary and uh, so that's going very well. well. We'll produce something. We were talking about it earlier but we'll we'll get out there and produce something at some point. Well I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing it. Well thank you. Come. I will. I definitely all will. All I'm into that. All these guys will know so you gotta get out there. I definitely Come, will. Tell James to <laughs> We'll Buy make a it, ticket and give it to you. We'll make it happen. <laughs> and I just want to clarify, is Abe now the mayor or is it still yes. in talks? Yes. It is uh, It is hard to know, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it keeps bouncing back and forth. I just need the 
clarify that. I know. Is he? Are you a police officer now? Are you the mayor now? <laughs> Which are you? Uh, and I was PR guy for uh, Demera. Yeah, Demera. Yeah. So, so you, you know, who knows? Who knows what could happen? <laughs> All right. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And Wally, I didn't forget about you. I just want to say, welcome back to Days. <laughs> I'm learning so many, th so many things about James. I thought I loved him before, and now I love him even more. Oh, of course. Well, how's it feel being back with the cast again and working with them? Well, thank you for asking. It, thanks for asking. It's, I've been really deep with the cast the last six months, and it has been amazing. It's a beautiful cast. It is. And the crew... No, it's uh, there's something. It's a really, it's a real family. It is over at Days of Our Lives. Everyone and here is just great. What's that? I said everyone is just so nice and yes. just so great. Well, and they're they're it's genuine. Yeah. And everyone loves, everyone really likes one another. And I think a lot has to do with the fact that we only have one little small room. Mm -hmm. The makeup and hair is just a small little room. And so at General Hospital. Hair and makeup's a little bit spread out, and then there's a green room where some of the actors run lines. It's a little more spread out, and the hallways are just, it's a little bit like a hospital over there. Yeah. And here, it's just like, I just feel like I'm running into people all the time, and so there's a lot of human contact. So you're sort of forced to, like, live in this space, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know, like, like, just waiting to go on, you know, in yeah. where where Stuart yeah, and and Fran hallway. are in the hallway. There's a lot going on right there, and then in the makeup room, and just like, it, you better be a sociable, friendly person to 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 live and and to prosper at Days of Our Lives because it's just a lot going on. Okay, yeah, I mean, I hear we have guests on that come audition days, and they just tell me how fantastic it is to be on set. So I want to come and visit you guys someday. It'll be fun. Okay, well, we'll try. It's a close <laughs> set. They're tough, it but is. people come. And I know, I know they are. I'm still trying to get in there, but we'll see. But you are the media. Yes, yeah. that is just true. Bring that, uh, just bring the the uh, microphone, the right? <laughs> bring the bumblebee. Bring the bumblebee. And really quick before we go. Um, so we have this time jump that just happened. Correct. Is there any storylines that you're hoping to be a part of that maybe you could shed some light on well, with Justin? I'll just say this. I've been a big part of the time jump, and it's been an amazing, I'm sure James is sick of me telling me, telling, <laughs> saying this over and over again. I have been uh, given, you know, entrusted with the most uh, challenging and emotionally demanding uh, material in my career. Yes. And uh, you'll see Justin travel down terrain that you know that he's you've never seen so in that regard I think it'll be really fun for the audience and it's been incredibly satisfying for me as an artist oh well I'm we'll stop I'm excited to see it. We have some good stuff ahead. We have some great stuff. Well, thank you guys for joining me today. You guys are both wonderful, and I can't wait to see you guys grow in some of the story plots that are happening. 